Hello and welcome to Excel Highway. In today's video, I want to share with you a simple but effective invoice generator I created in Excel. I want to walk you through how I created it step by step, all the different parts. All right, let's start. First of all, you have the top section. That is your company details, like your company name, your company number, address, phone number, and an email. You can add more details or remove whatever you want. You can put a logo here on the top right. There's this line, which you just have to select the range, click over here, and either top or bottom thick border, and generates this nice line separating the and your company data and the customer data and actual invoice. Then we have the customer name with some details. So the customer name in this case is the drop down list. And the details change as you change the name, obviously. That's very simple to do. All we need to do is create a customer database. So let's jump to that sheet. So I have here a table uh, with these columns the name, number, address, telephone, email, and payment terms. Just fill out the information and that's all you need to populate this um, if you're not familiar how to create a table it's very simple click on insert table then you can also resize the table so you want it five columns then you could just change the headers not a huge fan of tables but in this case it makes sense to use table so all there's no formulas here. There's the, these are just data um, inputs, all manual. So you just fill it out. Now, how does the drop down list uh, happen? And it's dynamic, of course. So if I add my name now, it will appear. And if I erase it, it goes away. So if you go over here to data, data validation. Usually, this appears on any value, but you change it to list. And in the source, I use the offset function. I'll demonstrate it over here. So offset will return a range or a value or table, whatever you decide, referencing to a specific um, location. So I'm going to reference this cell over here. First uh, argument or second argument is the number of rows you want to move down. In this case, I don't. Columns is the number of columns you want to move to the right, and I don't. And you can use negative, by the way, to go to the left or up. Height is what I need because I want, basically, I just want column A. I want A2 through the last row. Then we're going to use count A on the entire column, minus one. That's going to give me the number of rows that I have. And nothing for the width. So that's going to return exactly what I wanted. If I had two here, it's just going to return the second column. And you can see how this works. So I just use that, put that in the formula over here. OK, it's exactly the same formula. And that just gives me the drop down. All of these are just simple VLOOKUPs. So VLOOKUP to that same customer name. And the customer database a through f and two three four five six you could also use uh, index match for this which would be even quicker but whatever works for you uh, you could just use and um, since it's a closed drop down list i don't need to have an if error here because i'll always have values Okay, this is the customer part. Um, we have the date, which is the date of today. So that's always going to show today. We have the due date, which is the date plus the payment terms. Now, notice I do have an if error here because in the case that I uh, don't have anybody selected like this, then I don't want this to show an A. Um, so that's why I have it over here. Next, we have the invoice number that you manually change. So invoice number one, two, three, or five, six, seven, whatever you track and uh, 
create that invoice number. This is a general text that you can use, May 2024 invoice, for example. Could be a work for project X, something like that. Okay, so whatever you want. Then you have the items itself. So um, this is just a, a range with borders. Ah, one point to mention, you see that everything here is white and without borders. So you just have to highlight an area and click on the color white and that's how it will look like this. Just looks cleaner, especially when you export this to PDF, which is what normal, normally you do with an invoice. The outlier for that is this area, this table where I added a border and I added just a color and also the color of the cells so they stand out a bit. So you have the description, quantity, price, and total price. You have the description, you can add lines, um, Excel file, quantity one, 400. And you can see the total price will change once you have a quantity. So if G is greater than zero, G times H, otherwise blank, so that you don't see um, these. Let me just ignore errors, I don't like errors don't know what they want next we have the total line that's just the sum okay uh, I have an option for discount that VAT or you just multiply this total well this should actually be called subtotal I guess clarity so the subtotal times the discount which is one minus the discount right that's what's left that you're going to charge times 18% in this case for the VAT, but if you have a different VAT, just change it over here and change the header. And the total is the subtotal times the discount, so whatever's left, plus the VAT. So that's what you're actually gonna charge your customer. Now, the next step that you can do is to PDF this. So first of all, what you can do is click here on print. And once you do that, you will see the area of the page and you see that it's formatted okay. So A through I, that's okay. And I can always just select the area and either print to PDF, for example. Say I wanna to print to PDF and I can see the preview. And when I print it, it's gonna generate Give it a name, so in five four six. If I go over here, documents. And you can see it look, looks very nice. Everything looks in line. And I can just send that out to my customer. Okay, so this file will be available for you to download when you subscribe to my newsletter. I hope you enjoyed um, this video. I will be creating a improved and more automated file that will help you um, generate invoices, but also keep track of the invoices. Um, that's gonna be um, coming out probably next week, so keep in touch. Leave a comment. Uh, I love to read what you guys think. And have a good day.